Hey YouTubers, Xander here. Welcome back to Subnautica. Last time it was my triumphant return to recording. It wasn't very triumphant, but we returned to Subnautica. I explained what. Uh, oh, actually, not think about that. All right. Anyway, sorry. Uh, <laughs> snap it back into my current thought process. Last video discussed what happened in the previous video because that video doesn't exist anymore. Freaking hard drive frying uh. and we also uh, explored some of the, s the major parts of the CMOF update specifically the CMOF parts of it so oops hang on a second I just realized that I didn't start my timer there we go it started but anyways uh, so we basically uh, expanded our moon base a tiny bit and customized our CMOF with lots of exciting new things. So here we have Mini Zan. And it's fully charged and docked glory with all the different upgrades and etc. etc. Oh, I didn't actually show off the torpedoes last episode. Whoops! Oh, that was because I was worrying about supplies and whatnot. Um so yeah, let's see. So what I'm going to do first off is show the new biome let's get that started I'm gonna grab some food actually real quick okay. I put food in here yes I just built this yes or last episode so let us salt yeah kind of running a little low on salt but that's fine cured food spade fish Awesome. All right. So we got to be careful though as we head to this new biome because it's actually being defended by one of our least favorite giants. Excuse me, hands. Thank you, hands. All right. As we head on up. We should just be able to follow this path along the edge and find it very quickly. We have to be careful because I know that there is. Hello. Is it literally right here? Yeah, it is. Look at that. It is right here. You can already hear the biters. Yeah, this is the mountain biome. It extends outwards to the water and it's not floating. It actually goes all the way down like 600 meters or so. And somewhere around here it is supposedly defended by a reaper leviathan. So we'll need to be careful about that. You can see the aurora over there. But yeah. Now, um... And there's a magnetite, as you can see. Um, that's what I'm trying to get to. Basically, because this is kind of new, the items that spawn it haven't really been decided yet. And as a result, you get like lithium, magnetite, and a bunch of basalt chunks. Hey, look. Hey! Did you just really charge at my... See how you like this, you stupid little... How did you like that, huh? 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 Alright. It's right. Back off. <laughs> well, we can grab this. I can tie sure why not. But let us explore. Okay, I'm sold. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet uranium. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah, and they're not called, like, no Like, the nodes actually have a name now. They're outcrops. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Forgot about that. Um, uh, cave crawlers. There's cave crawlers here. Hello, hello. And these guys! They have a name. I forgot the name though. It was a kind of generic name ish. But yeah, they actually finally added a flying uh, fauna to the game. And when I started a new game, it was actually like directly above where I started. They were just kind of flying in the air. So that's cool. I like them. But yeah, lots of lithium. Cave crawlers. Trying to avoid all those. Some Reginalds I noticed. 
don't think I've ever actually really explored this area at night. That's kind of cool. But one of the main highlights. What is that in the distance? Is that one of my bases or something? Oh, hi! God, K probably scared the hell out of me. Here it is. I was like right next to it. Yeah, there's actually like a cave. A little like cove inside. It goes way down deep. Got various fishes. And what are those? Oh, those are like those little slug things that um light up. No! Oh! He just killed the cave crawler! Hi there! Hey. Ow! Oh, freaking biter fish. Yeah. That's what you get! But yeah, biter fish are basically everywhere now and they're just a huge pain. Oh, there we go. Look at you. Little glowy thing. I don't think you can hurt me. So I'm okay with you. Even though if you look up very close, like their mouth actually has like teeth in it and whatnot, so it's kind of creepy, but... We're gonna need some gold, I think, because we were running low because of all those advanced wiring kits we needed to build. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the whole water to ground transition is still not very perfect, but that's fine. Yeah, this cave can actually go down very deep, so we don't want to explore it because we will not survive the trip. Yeah. So a nice little neat place that you could potentially build a base on in. Have it like above ground or whatever. Is that oh, just that's all. Hey more uranium. Wow, I'm getting lucky with that. So let's head on outside. I don't need that lithium, I got plenty of lithium. Technically I have plenty of uranium too, but whatever. So let's see if I can find the path that allows you to climb the mountain. That cave crawler. Did I just hear the reaper? K hi! Jesus, that thing just freaking appeared out of nowhere. Hi there. Jesus! That's terrifying! I missed! Okay. I ain't dealing with that. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell, Reaper? Go home, you're drunk. Here it is. Here's the path. So, like, like I said, there is a Reaper Leviathan guarding the uh, mountain. Oh, excuse me. So, good thing I wasn't lying. Excuse me. Come on. So, yeah, falling off would not be very healthy right now in this area. I'm getting like caught on everything, what the hell? I don't believe we can go over this way anymore. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I can see the Reaper in the distance. And as you may be able to hear, it's getting very windy as we head on up. So that's a really cool detail. Uh, let's see if I remember correctly. Excuse me, Cape Crawler, out of the way. Yeah, down this way is actually leads back to the cove. Yeah, so you can actually fall back into the cove. That's something cool. All of these basalt chunks everywhere. I don't want to deal with you right now. More of this, these flying guys. So yeah, here we are. Look at that. The cave crawlers are down there, so I shouldn't have to worry about them. Still, I don't think there's fall damage, but we can just enjoy this view right now. Listen to the wind blowing. See the flying dudes. <laughs> it's really cool. Like I said, the mountain actually goes down very deep. It's got a cave system and everything. The only thing that's missing is if only we could see the floater island over in that direction, that'd like just really complete the piece. Still, that's a pretty view. I like it. Anyways, that'll do it. Uh, let's 
Got our sea moth right there. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. yeah. Woo. <laughs> okay, I survived. Let's head back to the sea moth before the reaper decides to make a lap around. Alright, I need to change the color. I saw red and I was paranoid thinking it was this the reaper. Here the biter. Yeah, and then if we use our sonar, you can actually see the cave through. If I remember correctly, there is actually an entrance to the cave from near the bottom somewhere. More magnetite, a bunch of basalt chunks. The cool thing about like this location is that we're actually very close to both uh, the mushroom forest and the cooch zone, I believe. So that's something. Yeah. Yep. See, there's the mushroom forest. Passing safe depth. Yeah, 125 meters, so now we gotta be careful with what we bump into. Hello, gel rays! Interesting, the pond disappears for a second when he used the sonar. Alrighty. So, yeah. That was the mountain. Just something really neat that they added. And... We could spend all that time looking for it when it wasn't implemented yet. And as soon as it is implemented, you find out that it's like right next to me course. Look at all this stuff. That's a bleeder. I did need a little bit of salt. Yeah, let's grab a few things of salt while I'm here. I don't really need stalker teeth, so I'm gonna hold off for now. I did need quartz. So I think what I'm gonna do... So I get back over this way. We'll switch out a few of our modules and head down deeper. Grab some quartz. There we are. We now apparently there's also another new biome that they added in the experimental version that uh, is apparently really neat. Um, very creepy biome, the Blood Kelp Zone. I have not personally seen that and I just saw a few uh, screenshots of it. That might be something to explore later on. There we go, cool. Um, what was I doing? Oh, I needed quartz, yeah. Yeah, let me scratch off the mountain. We explored the mountain. So now we want to grab a bunch of quartz. Excuse me, what the hell? Interesting. Alright. I actually want the welder. I forgot about that. Let's grab the welder. Thank you. out a few things. I want that. And then I guess I'll grab that too. We'll trade out a few things. We'll trade out the solar for the power efficiency. Trade out... I guess I don't really need the defense, just bone sharks, right? For the department. So let's see. Crush depth is now 425 meters. Hopefully that's enough. Bloop, bloop. And let's go. Kind of low on like food and water, but that's fine. So now we don't have any defenses. But we can use our sonar, so that's cool. So we can head all the way to 425. 425 is our limit. Let's see, well, I'm already seeing quartz here, so. Park it right there. Oops. We do have the 
power efficiency, so I don't think we'll be able to charge at this step with the slower thing, so that's why I switched it out. Ooh. We could actually build a base here because we could build it off a thermal plant. That'd be cool. Cave crawler. Or, or cave crawler cave. Floating island cave cave crawler thing. Yes, that was English. Oh, so much quartz. Cool. I think I have the rebreather so I won't be losing my... oxygen any faster. Uh, it's a spawn shark. Man, this is so cool. I really like this biome. This is a cool biome. I want to know what it is. I just realized, how the heck is that thermal then working? In a floating island. Warning, like, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Like, I'm, 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 the, the logic and the physics behind that, I don't think that's how it works. But whatever. Oh, there's some more quartz right there. Boop. Let's go, me. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, mister. Excuse me, are you dead or alive? Or... Oh, you're dead. You're just making noises from beyond the grave? I am confused! Alright. Uh, let's recharge our air a little bit. Then we might head to another island, because as you can see, there are so many. That's weird. That's really weird. Like, I think, in terms of sheer size, this might be one of the bigger biomes. And there's a piece of quartz right there. And you know what, let's head in here. And go... Boom. There we go. Just got some more space. Hello. What's over here? Is that the edge? the edge. Hmm. Oh, okay. It uh, didn't load in yet. <clears throat> Let's head a little deeper. Caution. Passing safe depth. Alright, so now we're getting into the riskier portions. It's getting darker too, so... Let's see. I thought there was more cave somewhere. Hmm. This is why I like the sonar, because we can't really see much. We still have a general idea of where things are. Hmm. We can't really go any farther down. But we can head this way. There's the edge. Oh boy. We may have gotten close to exhausting the uh, floating islands. I'm pretty sure that way is just going to lead to the uh, mountain region, which means that we'll have to deal with the reef or the reaper leviathan, and we do not have any defense against that any guy anymore. few more right here, so I guess I'll grab those. Oh wow. A little bit more than just a few. This is a, oh, this must be a different island. That must have been the one that I was at a few seconds ago. Interesting. I'm not sure I grab some salt. I'm kind of low on salt. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Well, even if we run out of quartz in this biome, there are still, like, 
half a dozen others that are filled to the brim of quartz, so it's alright. Oh, hey, I missed that quartz right there. Oh, wow! That's like a dozen right there. I think... Oh, yep, inventory full. Head back to the sea, moth. Alright. Look at that. We only use like 25% of the energy, so that's pretty good. Oh, what is it? I don't even think I said this before because of uh I might have mentioned it in the delete in the last episode, but um, I discovered one of the reasons why I got stranded in the jelly shroom cave was because apparently just sitting in your sea moth actually uses its power. So, yeah, that's the thing. There we go. Right, let's head back real quick. Do some stuff with our quartz that we have. I got plenty of quartz. This will last me a good long while. Was it the previous episode? Was it the or was it the last episode where I discovered something? I don't know. I'll mention it either way. I don't know if it's still a thing, but uh, when I was revamping this uh, base to put the moon pool where it's at right now, um, I was using glass corridors, and I discovered that when you um, deconstruct glass corridors, you don't actually get two glass back. Instead, what you get is. Uh, Two titanium back. Obviously, that's like a bug of some sort, but that's just something I noticed. So let's grab the course that we had in our storage bin. Hello. That's another dozen right there. It's awesome. Love the storage bins. Having four of them would just be amazing. And with that, quartz for days. Cool. I do need food and water though. That's the wrong one. It's this one. What a food! More food. Cook it. New creature discovered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oculus, etc., etc. Bloop, 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 ta-da, much better, so let's see, so let's explore the mountain, we've got quartz, we've only got eight minutes, so let's see, let's go check out those signals, but before then, I'm going to need to bring some food, so let's grab two peepers, we'll cure two peepers, bring two things of water with us, Honestly, I should start using a still suit now that I think about it. Oops, oh, the caps lock button. Wrong button. Um, like I don't think the radiation is an issue anymore. Do I even... I don't have a still suit? Ah, oh, crap! Alright, well, fine. I'll make a... I don't have the silver ore for a still suit. God dingus dang it. Alright, um... Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. Whatever. We can just store it in the sea moth. Let's stick those in there. I'm gonna want the solar charger and the perimeter defense. Let's trade those out again. There we are. We'll put those back in there. And actually. Before we head out, there's one more thing I just remembered that was included in the Seamoth update. That was... The Terraformer. The Terraformer now actually has, like, its own... It has a better model, basically, I think is how they put it. It's like if they got actual animations, it like does this spinning thing. So, yeah, that's just something they included. Nothing major, but still, it's something kind of neat. 
I just wanted to show that off. And with that, we'll put it back. La 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 la. So we'll head to the safe base and get prepared to check out where those signals lead us. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All systems online. I'm also going to need silver along the way now I think about it. What do I need silver for? Oh, yeah, it's still suit. See, can I write and move at the same time? Kinda sort of. Ta-da! Did it! Okay. Mm -hmm. Just cause I can. God, that's so cool. Swag path. You know, I never really paid attention. Uh, that's a crash. It does... No, it doesn't. Okay. So your base doesn't appear on the sonar, and I know that the Aurora doesn't either. So that's something interesting. And here we are, back at the safe base. Let's see. Here we are, two signals. Land mass detected. Oh, that's the floater island, isn't it? Let's check. Now that is definitely the signal for the... Uh, whatchamacallit? Geological formation. The dunes? Oh, wait! Wait, 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 wait. If I remember correctly, um, I remember seeing something in the wiki that was talking about, uh, like, different things, like something that looks like Stonehenge, and something that looks like this, and something that looks like that. Um, and I don't remember if those were actually implemented in the game or not, but that might be what this one is. So we don't need to go to the, the island, because we already know what that looks like. So... Jesus Christ, people downstairs so loud. Okay. So, how much time do I have? I have a whopping seven minutes. That is not a lot to work with. So, you know what? Let's go grab some silver. Let's see if we can find ourselves some silver real quick, because we need that for our still suit. And then next episode, we will check out the signal, check out... I might even show off the Deep Reef Cavern a little bit, because you guys didn't get to see that before. I hear a reef back. I'm just not seeing any outcrops. Hey, look! Ooh, a jelly plant. These things are kind of rare. They're not really useful yet, but still, they're kind of rare. Here we are. Here are some nodes. Ow! God damn it. There's one silver. Two silver. Oh, that's enough for the still suit. Uh, let's go look for more. I saw another one over here. Silver, cool. Ooh, hey, there's one right there. Hey, gold. I didn't need gold. Hey, another one. But wait, there's more! Lots of silver. There's another one. You know what? I just realized I still haven't shown off the torpedoes. 
Uh, I need to do that. Let's do that real quick. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, I can. Cool. Alright. Let's see. I want torpedoes. And let's quickly replace that with torpedoes. If I remember correctly. So as you can see, it opens up here now. Torpedo Bay already has two torpedoes in it. So let's... Torpedoes armed. Yeah. Oop, I see another... Uh... Ow. Oh, hi. Hello there. I'm not going to hurt you because I like you. I love reef backs. Let's try and find ourselves a bastard shark. Any bastard shark will do. Hey, bastard shark! Oh, wrong button! Wrong button! Torpedoes hot. Missed. <laughs> oh god! Where'd he go? I think he got thrown under the map. Yes, yeah, so that's what the torpedoes do. They create like a whirlpool that sucks in everything and kind of glitches things. Maybe it's designed to do that, like it's a mini black hole or something. Maybe if we shoot enough of them, we'll make the uh, water level drop for the planet. Yeah, I'll fire off the last one and then we'll head back real quick to the safe base and call it good. Oh yeah, I did, oh, actually no, I did set off the timer a little slow, or a little late, so we'll head back now. Whoopsies. Maybe we'll shoot a stalker on the way, who knows. Torpedoes armed. Yeah, they are. Oh, stalker buddies. I -oh. Hey, stalker buddy. Torpedo systems disengaged. <clears throat> yeah, I think he got, like, shot under. If I remember correctly, the torpedoes don't affect us, so. That's just something. Ta-da! So yeah, that's the torpedoes. Ding! Love the ping. Alright. Now let us quickly re-grab our... Oh, I never... I kept it in my inventory. So yeah, we'll have to restock those at some point. It's kind of useless right now, but that's just the point. There we go. Let's throw all the silver in there. There's the jelly plant too. Alrighty. Let's just quickly head into the safe base. That'll do it for this episode. Next episode, we will... Um, I'll check out the one signal that we have, the geological formation. Uh, check out the deep reef cavern, and then probably start getting work, start working on building the cyclops, because that's still something we gotta do. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you next time.